All right, everyone, next up in our handstand progression. So there is this element of mobility that you need to do a handstand, right? You need mobility in your wrists so that you can get all of your body weight over your hand since you're, you have this very narrow base of support at which your center of mass needs to kind of stand somewhere in the middle. Um, and then there's this element of shoulder mobility as well. So if you don't have those, you can still start training for handstands. Um, the, there's, there's all sorts of ways. Primarily what you need to do is you need to ensure that your rib cage is in the right position, right? If my rib cage is up like this, I can't lift my arm quite as high as if my rib cage is up like this or down like this. Okay, that's the basic principle. Um, what we're trying to do here is limiting, maybe you've been trying some of these exercises like this and you're getting really uncomfy in your wrist. And what we can do now is we lengthen the lever so that my hands are out like this. I'm not stressing my wrist mobility quite so much, but I'm still ensuring that I get good rib cage position. This one's called the quadruped walkout from knees. So quadruped, hands and knees. I'm gonna tuck my hips, just like all these other exercises, find my outer lower abdominals, and then I'm gonna walk my hands forward like this, okay? So you can just go as far as you're comfortable. If I'm feeling like I'm a little too hot, don't really wanna sweat inside here, and then maybe I stop right here, I make sure I push my neck up towards the ceiling and I keep that hip tuck so I feel those outer or lower abdominals and I can just stay here. And then when I breathe in, hopefully you saw my back expand. Let's try one more time. And that's good. So the progression here is challenge your mobility some more. I can walk my hands out a little bit further. And you'll already see I'm starting to have some trouble. There we go. I got my neck position a little better here. And if you really want to make it hard, it feels like my wrists or my uh, hips are totally straight, but they are not. So that's the ultimate progression that I want you to get to. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to kind of take my body like a seesaw, drop my butt end and raise my upper end. I like to do that on an exhale. So, there we go. Hold right there. And when you come out of it, don't lose your position, right? Keep those abs, walk yourself back up. That is the quadruped walkout from knees.